Oh yeah guys, RBHS again, as you can see we got a Hanka, Yanka. I think it's Yanka. I like Yanka. Anyway, so we got our Yanka SDM 08 Mini. So, what is an SDM 08 Mini? Well, let's turn the box up here. Oh, you can see it. Let's angle the phone down a little bit more. I know I said I was going to do this a different way. Anywho, it is a 8 inch slim under seat active powered car subwoofer, car truck subwoofer. Hassle free packaging. Well, I'm not sure what to call hassle free because I didn't cut the tape on this. So we got a box. Then we got a box in the box. Excellence, you can hear. Oh, so let's go ahead and unbox this. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna test this. I kind of want to stick it in the car. <laughs> we just might actually do an in-car test on it. So, as you can see, we got a box and a box and a box. We got 8-inch aluminum subwoofer. 400 watts max power. And we got intense base power, easy installation, and a remote control. Flip her the box around here and angle her down. Get some more specifications. Our RMS power is 100 watts. THD 0.07 signal noise ratio 97 dB. I'm assuming that's one watt one meter. And frequency response 20 to 180. The input sensitivity I'm not understanding. So high level 0.53 volts two channel. I don't make any sense. So it should be have a variable rating and just like input sensitivity low. 156 millivolts at two channel. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense how that's listed on the box. There again, it should be like 0.5 volt to 5 volts or 6 volts or something like that. Anywho, low pass filter 5180. Base boost is 12 dB, no frequency given. The impedance is 4 ohm, so it's internally amplified, so I'm not sure why you're worried about that. Fuse rating is 20 amps, 8 inch, and the size is 10.2 inches, 7. 0.7 by 2.4 and anything else on the box that we don't need to know or haven't found out there's a little exploded diagram I guess of what's in the enclosure um, anything on the bottom nope so that's all the information the box provides us let's go ahead and open her on up and angle her out now I'm going to be honest with you guys, when I opened it up, all this stuff was on the bottom. Just kind of went ahead and put it on top, show you what you're getting, try to shorten things up. You're going to get a couple of mountain brackets with screws and your high-level input adapter. High-level input means speaker-level input. And here goes your fancy, funky focus. Base level knob with just minimum, maximum, Yonka, and their, little, their new little logo. That's pretty cool. And of course, the base remote cable. We're gonna get an instruction manual. <coughs> now I will, I'm gonna give them extreme props on the instruction manual because they covered just about everything you could want to know in here. Of course, they got their introduction, who they are, protect your ears. You give your whole list of items. This was supposed to be in the box. Okay. That box wanted to close, y'all. Y'all seen that, right? And then caution. Something about receiving. Make sure everything is in there. Now I'm going to show you something I love. Okay. Focus research. You're working on computers and stuff. Cool. Um, found it more than 20 years ago. Powerful factory. Independent. Not sure what they're working on or working with there. Get over here. Production. Meticulous. Rigorous. Uh, Guarantee. Now, we come over here. Let me back up some, getting them on light. This dude here. Our strong technological team finds free installation guidance. Well, he's at a car factory putting in a window regulator. He's not putting in a speaker or anything. <laughs> and you can tell that's a car manufacturing plant by the other cars in front of him. And yeah, he's putting in a window regulator. So they got this guy putting in window regulators. I guess is their um, technological support team to help you with your installation. But anyway, 
But yes, their manual is very thorough. Let's you know the list of everything that you need here. <coughs> Excuse me, your low level input wiring, your high level input wiring. Very, very nicely done. Thorough. I mean, guide here. So, anything you need to know, you can just pause it where we're going. I'm just really impressed that ever who put this book together. Just a little troubleshooting tips. Did such a tremendous job. So, and some other products you can get. I've actually got study these on the way. And also had these here. We'll get those later. Anyway. Alright, so let's finish taking this thing out of the box. I know we done pretty much seen everything. Oh. set her up there yep she's aluminum she's got some heft to her so this is it let me set it up this way because here's going to be the business end yes it does have the angle terminals you got your power remote and ground you got your rca inputs your 20 amp fuse your remote your high level plugs your auto on and off, so that way you don't have to worry about running remote wire. That's nice. Your phase, 0 to 180. Your input gain, min and max. Base boost, no frequency given. And your low fast filter. So, it feels extremely nice, guys. It really does. It is an all aluminum chassis. Like they said, they didn't lie there. Now let's check on these measurements. Let's pull this over here because we're going to have to allow for some wire. So I'm going to call it, yeah, I think I'm going to call it at least about 11 and a half. Yeah, give yourself about 11, 11 and a half width wise or however how you're going to mount it. And then totally upside down. Yep, about seven, seven and three quarter. So they're good there, seven point seven, and height wise, yep, two and a half, two and a half ish. So, all right, guys, that's it for the unboxing of the Chianca SDM 08 Mini. I'm gonna figure out a way to actually test this thing. I think I'm actually gonna throw it in the Jeep. And see what she does, since I don't really have anything in there but an Android Chief Android Radio and Hyunka 6x9s. So, it might be a really great opportunity. Alright, y'all. Y'all like, share, subscribe. I appreciate all the support that you guys give me again. So, yeah. We'll catch y'all. Yeah, I think I'm dropping another video tomorrow. But I didn't. Nobody told you that. So, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Well, y'all see me tomorrow. Y'all see something tomorrow. Y'all enjoy. Have a good day. We out of here.